Want to get your Raspberry Pi robot up and running quickly? Let's install ROS2 and build that solid foundation for your robot. Hi, my name is Sid Faber. I'm from the robotics team at Canonical. I want to take a few minutes to install ROS2 dashing on a Raspberry Pi. We choose to install Dashing because it's the LTS, the long-term supported release of ROS, uh, and it supports Ubuntu 18.04. All you need to get started is a Raspberry Pi that's running Ubuntu 18.04. If you're not sure how to do that, step on over to our prior tutorial that I'll show you how. I wanted to start with just a few notes on how to avoid common pitfalls in installing ROS2. You may be tempted to go on over to ROS.org, which has a lot of great information about ROS, but the ROS2 installation and documentation is anchored off of index.ros.org. Let's take a look. Here you can see on the homepage, there's a link for installation instructions. So we'll follow through to that. You can see there's two installations currently anchored on this page, ROS2 Dashing and ROS2 Eloquent. Dashing is the LTS release. As you can see, it's supported until May 2021. So that's the release we're going to target. If we follow through that link, you'll see this is listed as supporting Ubuntu 18.04. That's how we choose the Linux version that we wanted to install for ROS Dashing. There's lots of great installation instructions on this and subsequent pages. Uh, what we want to do is install the Debian packages. We want to install the binaries. Don't want to compile on the Raspberry Pi. Two other points to keep in mind is we're building out the footprint of our robot. We're going to do a minimal software install. We can always add more software later, but we don't want to bog down the robot with extra software that we don't need. Similar to that, Second point is we're not going to install any of the graphical components. All of our work is going to be done through SSH into the robot. So we'll save the graphical components for running on the client and not install those on the robot. There's lots of great installation instructions here off of the install page. We're going to boil this down to just what we need to do for our Raspberry Pi. First thing to take a look at is setting up the sources. Two parts to this. First of all, we need to install the key for the repository we're going to be using, and then we need to add the repository to our sources list. Here's where the key is located. It's actually in GitHub. Let's log into the robot. In order to add the key, I need sudo writes, and I use the apt key command. There's an advanced option that fetches the key right from a URL. So I'll copy the URL and paste it in here, and that adds the key, so now I can add the repository. Once again, I copy the name of the repository, and then I use the apt add repository command to simply add it. This houses all the packages for ROS that I might want to install. You see, this also does an APT update. So now that we've added the repository, all we have to do is go ahead and install. So that's just simply sudo apt install and then ros dashing ros base. We're just going to install the base package. Oh, wait, looks like we ran into an error here. That's actually not uncommon. I'll bet it's due to some updates happening in the background. Let's take a look. We'll run the top command to see what's running. Yeah, there you see it. Unattended updates are running. So you can't install two things at the same time. So if you run into this, we just simply have to wait for the updates to complete. So we'll monitor top and we'll come back and finish up the install in just a second. Okay, it looks like we're done with the unattended updates. It took quite a while because this was the first time uh, updating this machine. We're going to install the ROS base package. Some other options uh, include the desktop package, which we would install on our workstation, uh, or uh, the full package, which includes the desktop and all kinds of other software. Again, we're keeping it slim, so we're just going to go ahead and install the base package.
All right, so ROS2 is now installed. So let's try out something and see if it works. Well, that didn't work out so well. That's actually not surprising. That's because by default, the ROS binaries are not added into your path. Simply source this setup file, and then you'll be able to run ROS commands. As you can see, however, the tutorials still don't work just simply because we didn't install them. If you recall, we only installed the base package, which doesn't include these demos. But everything else does seem to be working fine. The last thing that we want to do is I'd recommend installing this Python Arc Complete package. That helps you get tab completion on your ROS commands. It'll come in really handy later. And there you have it, folks. We've got ROS running on our Raspberry Pi, the latest long-term supported release. Remember, it's pretty straightforward. Once you've got the OS installed, all you need to do is add the key for the repository, add the repository, and go ahead and install the software. We kept it slim because we want a super fast performing robot. If you have an edge case or something that's not covered here, feel free to follow the instructions on index.ros.org to give you a lot more guidance on working through the install. Once again, my name is Sid Faber from the robotics team at Canonical. Thanks for watching.